What is up everybody? In this video, we're going to be completing the hardest Elden Ring run ever attempted. I like to call this the Master Run, where we're going to be beating the game while at level 1, without using any upgraded weapons, and on the highest new game cycle difficulty of NG plus 7, all without getting hit a single time. On New Game Plus 7, enemies and bosses have significantly more HP, defense, and resistances to poise damage and status effects. I'm sure you can imagine what this would look like for a tanky boss like Fire Giant. But it actually makes an even bigger difference on bosses like Malaketh, who generally die pretty quickly on most runs. I also wanted to do this run while at true level 1. This basically means that I can't artificially increase my character's level using items like Godric's Great Rune or Radagon's Sword Seal. Currently, I'm working on the All Great Runes version of this, with the ultimate goal of eventually doing the All 165 Bosses Master Run. If you'd like to see that run, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment on this video. You can also subscribe if you want to catch me routing and attempting these runs live right here on YouTube. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this insane run. Yep, the, the boss that has ended our run <laughs> numerous times no i well he might have been stuck on the wall but i i don't think so like that's pretty insane to get immediately dude Bro, this fuck boss dude what makes that attack even worse to dodge is that the noble like literally freezes for a a few frames and that's why the positioning you need to be at to roll through that initially today. is so precise is because of that freeze that happens As long as you know that's a thing. Uh, the Apostle didn't come back because we got a stun when Noble tried to summon. So that that's that's the whole part of the strat, right? Like, that's why that fight works as it does. Yeah, in my mind, like, Malaketh's Arena is kind of... Like, what they should be aiming for. If they want to make a boss have an interesting arena... Don't add a bunch of slopes that ruin the boss. Um, he's got a lot of attacks that are they change based on the terrain. So what that tells you is that they did not design his moveset around a sloped terrain. Or around having rocks in the fight and stuff. So that's like a bad interaction with the arena, but making a boss like Malekith where where it's you know it's still flat, but the boss still interacts with the arena in a cool way that adds to the fight. Like that's what they should be going for. Oh, actually, yeah, I guess Wolnir's is sloped, and it actually works for him, so. That's true. At the same time, though, with Wolnir, like, it's an angled arena, but it's still, there's not, um, like, changes in the terrain, right? It's all just, it's flat, but it's at an angle. It's not 90 degree, but there's not a bunch of obstructions in the way and stuff. Yeah, Godric's sloped arena is on, like, garbage when compared, like, when you... Combine his breath attack and stuff and all of his attacks. The slope does not work in that arena at all. It makes it way worse, actually. Mm. As, a, as someone who does challenge runs, I would like these games a lot. Like, I think these games would be more fun to me if all the games had, uh, you know, you could control your iframes in a similar way to DS2. Even though casually, I, I like, I don't think it's a good thing because you shouldn't really have to worry about that. I am caught. Um, yeah, say you're going for, like, a pure tank build or something, and you're just never going to roll. You just, you, you get a bunch of extra levels to put into other stuff. So, so, yeah, that being said, if, if they ever make, like, a DS2 remake or something, which I think would be, I think out of all the Souls games at this point, it's the one that I would like to see remade the most. If they ever did do that, I would love to see them not change how the system works, but just make it more intuitive. Like, instead of having some agility stat, which does a whole bunch of things, just... Like put iframes on there and explain what iframes mean. Like just make it obvious, and I think already that's a lot better. Some animations make bosses immune to stagger damage. Um, I can't think of anywhere where that's the case, but if you mean some animations prevent bosses from being staggered, that is definitely true. 
That's why Millennia is such a bastard, because she has so many animations during her dashes where she has hyper armor and she cannot be staggered out of it. What happens is, as so, so as soon as an enemy gets to zero poise, um, they should stun, but if they don't, if they eat it, then the game immediately tries to refill the stamina or the poise bar. So normally there's like a couple seconds of delay before the poise bar starts to reset. Um... So, so yeah, there's like a set amount of time, but once they get to zero or lower, then it immediately starts regenerating. And so that's why, that's why Millennia like never staggers sometimes, right? Because if you're hitting her constantly during her hyper armor, she will constantly be resetting her poise. That issue with the game is on full display on that boss and it, it decreases the quality of the fight, I think. Uh, the runs are all right swashbuckler the we had we had one run just into god's can duo yeah that's true dr double but but that's not like from a fan's perspective though that's not uh loretta's for rot pots plus uh chilling mist right card is for assassin's gambit and the second shard bearer Like, right, right card's by far the easiest shard bearer on this run. It's just, you gotta go through Noble first. Back to Loretta again. buffed right there probably Oh my god, my rolls have just been, like, not at the right angle for that. Why is she doing this jump back attack so much, dude? Just constantly. A, what a horrible fight this time like last last fight we had probably the best loretta i've seen and then this one just total garbage man it's okay i'll take a bad loretta fight over a bad fire giant fight because last time we got a good fire giant or a bad fire giant but a good loretta so surely this time bad loretta equals good fire giant maybe good gods can do it as well yeah all, all bosses i have no idea if it's going to be possible that is the eventual goal Like there's not even not even any run I've done that that would be comparable to that sort of run because all the longer runs that I've done, like none of them have really been super uh, 
like hardcore low damage runs or anything like that. You know, all achievements DS3 no hit was my longest run ever, which took, you know, just over 20 hours. But it's not like, it's not like I'm doing hard boss fights 10 hours into that run or something, right? I'm, it's just like the God Run 3 where it's just, you're going through a lot of content, but you also have a really good build. Which simplifies it, right? The longest actual like hard mode no hit run I've done is the master run in DS3, which is the same rules as this essentially. All bosses, which took me, I believe it was like around six hours. And so like, that's not even close to 25 hours, right? And then beyond that, it's, it's, uh, I guess it's pretty cool in this game that we'll, we'll actually, actually even have a, like a choice, right? Of what order to do things in. Yeah, Hob, Hob needs to learn how to fast travel like that, dude, because if he if he knew how to do it, he would have been able to save his run that he jumped off the cliff on. And the, the reason why I learned it initially was doing, you know, Noble Skip. Any infusion that I need here? Yes. with every hit imaginable right there. I, I, that's why I don't like using Chilling Mist here. Because it makes it so hard to see him, dude. Uh, we get the Rockeries from the, this Rot Pool. There's three there. We don't even need to go into the, the tunnel to get the one Rockeries that's there because there's just enough. Yeah, Vow of the Indomo is one second. And I, I would believe that a Torrent Dismount could be very similar. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was even more than... Vow the Indomitable because it feels like it's so much time. No! 
Oh, what the hell is this, dude? <laughs> Nearly got rocked in the face. That would not be a good way to lose the master run. That's probably the closest I've ever been to getting rocked in the face. But yeah, we can't use Coded Sword either, I'm pretty sure. It's like 15 faith, right? Beautiful fight. Uh, I didn't want to do Noble Skip on this just because it. I wanted to fight Noble. Funniest way I've lost a run. Funniest to who? <laughs> because I've I've lost some runs in some like pretty embarrassing ways. Remember one way I lost a run is there was this glitch that would happen in DS3, where um, I, I I hadn't seen it in any location other than the shortcut to Twin Princes. And I got to that elevator, and as I walked into the elevator shaft, I just fell down. Like, I clipped through the ground and just died. Uh, but yeah, I was doing uh, SO1 all boss no hit in DS3, and I made it to the final boss, who was Gale. And then I died falling down the elevator shaft while trying to set up RTSR. This was one of the first runs, and, and I got to him zero hit. So that was not good. But what was good is that I got the run, the, like, literally the next attempt. Oh, I forgot to physic and... Does, does an Exalted Flesh even do anything on this fight? I feel like my damage is the same. Do I even have... <laughs> I don't even have anything in my physic, dude. Whoops. Alright, that's one.
two. Okay, three. We should get another attack after this. And that should be canceled into... It doesn't do a whole lot. Thought about making Torrent available? You think so? I, I don't know. You know what? Like, it's interesting. People think on Elden Beast, Torrent would make it a lot easier or something. It really wouldn't. If you try to dodge Elden Stars with Torrent, then you're just going to get destroyed by every other attack. If you're trying to outpace Elden Stars and then Elden Beast starts doing the discs, you're not... Like, Torrent is not fast enough to escape those. You would get hit by them, probably, I think. Like, I what I think would have been actually pretty cool is have fights where torrent is like they where they design the fight around torrent and then maybe like torrent should have jump iframes as well so that you could jump over that quad disc attack comes out and then you're running away on torrent but then you could still jump over um you could still jump over those attacks or something. I just lost all my poise damage there. Oh, seriously? And my buff ran out? I can't actually remember if the Ash of War is fast enough on the double swipe. I kind of feel like it's not. I don't know. I think it is. I'm, I'm pretty pretty certain it is. I just can't remember.
That was a really bad gold free fight. I, I don't know. He's, he's, a, he's a fun boss to fight and stuff, but these elevation changes make it worse. And then these pillars make it also worse. All because when he gets against a wall, he um, he changes his angle on his attack. So Please get away from there. Oh, it's fucking poise reset. That's where the bleed grease would have uh, would have made that a bit better. Well, um, I might end in a similar spot as we ended yesterday, you guys. But look at that, huh? Three runs in a row past Morgoth's pretty solid. Yeah, God's Gonna Do is pretty tough on this run, but I, I, I think there's harder bosses. I think Radagon's the hardest. But yeah, the bosses that scare me the most are probably Fire Giant and, and Elden Beast because it just it feels like things are less in your control on those fights, maybe. But yeah, with God's Can Duo, like, there's definitely some unfortunate things that, that can happen, but even that fight feels more under your control than the other ones. Um, alright, let's go over here. Not sure how many people are in that Discord at this point in time, but yeah, there's like a lot of good team hitless events and stuff, and... Like to take a break from the Souls games and stuff, dude. Um, okay, so we got that. And so we're not really trying to kill the bosses as fast as we possibly can, right? We're trying to survive and be efficient at the same time. Like sometimes doing some like crazy dodge strats or, or strafes on certain bosses, it's more efficient, but opens you up to potentially more risk. For Radagon, like people were telling me about certain strafes that I could do with like the moose. Oh, actually, you know what? On Morgoth. So there's a strafe that you can do with the fist weapons by doing an R2 when he does his sort of like, he runs to the left side of you, his right, and then comes across with a sweeping attack where, where you like, you know, you have to be at the correct distance and then you can do an R2 with the balls and then you go underneath his weapon. But like, so so technically that that is optimized and like that's, it's just a bit too risky for a no hit run fight in that case. But it's not me just being like too lazy to learn the strat or something. It's that I tested it and then I didn't feel good about it. So I'm not going to use it, you know? Well, I think we're all set up for uh, Fire Giant on this, you guys. So 
I think I'm going to call it here, dude. Hockey game's on and yeah, hockey game's on probably like an hour. All right. What is up, you guys? Welcome back. Uh, and I leave myself in this position again where we're going straight in the fire giant, dude. Yeah, the bow, the bow only video should be um, like it'll probably come out in a couple weeks or so. What kind of fire giant will, will we get this time? Last time it was really bad, like probably the worst I've seen. Right back in, dude. Know what we like to see yeah he's already stuck look at him he's totally bugged out dude he's totally bugged out you guys It makes it so hard to get moth light off sometimes, dude. Like right there, I just like he just runs away so much that there's just no opportunity to, to do it. That actually wasn't a bad phase one, but we just got like kind of bad attack RNG, I feel like a little bit, but the positioning was good. Can't really complain. Okay. Nice. Okay. I like that. Nice RNG there. Oh, no. Oh, dude. That was horrible timing. Yep, there it is. There it is, dude. So, like, the problem now is that we just wasted three rot pots. I don't know. It's probably worth going to restock on them, I guess. Yeah, that's the, that's the first time we've gotten that on one of these attempts, dude. First fire breath. What a mistake. That fire attack is just unfucking believable. All right. Like, you would think if there's some, some spot, like, behind a tree that is right on the edge of the arena... That could be safe, right? Man, he likes this rock, huh? Wow, who are you attacking?
Really don't like this position because you can roll off of the rock and then lose it on your iframes. I'm just going to moth flight him now. I think it's better to do it there than to just like, you know, wait too long and then miss out on it. Bro. He gets nah, god damn it, dude. Not a good spot. Too bad. This uh, this phase this actually was going much better than the last uh, phase one. I wonder if I should just wait for the poison or try to frost them. I would just wait. Okay, I guess I should have done it there, but. Yeah, there, there's still a lot I got to test on this fight, I think, you guys. Because this fight would not be a concern if the Fire Breath didn't exist. Or if we had a way to deal with it. But the between the legs strat, it's just, it's not really... I don't know, I don't think it's something that you could realistically do every time. Just because, like, a fire could deflect and come back. It just does his body block it every time. I'm not sure. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, that sucks so much. <laughs> that's so stupid, dude. There's, I can't trust that, right? Like, I can't trust that he's going to die there in time. Can I afford more rot pot still? Yeah, no, like, I also don't even really look at his HP bar either. So, and like, if, if he even got like one projectile off, then like, I don't know. That's just brutal. I guess it's it would be more efficient for me to just use like two rot greases, except it makes it slower. We'll go no rot pots in phase two. God, how many times do we have to kill this bastard, man? We could sleep him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try sleeping him in phase two. Oh my god, dude. If this one rock wasn't here in this arena, it'd be so much better, honestly. Like, just that one singular rock was gone. Because then the main spot where you fight him would be totally even ground. Maybe not. It's not... It'd be flat. Or not have a bunch of obstructions, at least. Done, maybe? Actually got a bleed before fr rot somehow. 
Not, I guess it's not terrible, but it's kind of weird. This fight's going a little differently. Double procced. I don't like this position he's in because he gets stuck on those, uh, on those, uh, trees. And if he rolls, I could get caught, so. He's got that fucking fire orb coming at me, too. Too bad. we. Ha this actually started, like, very well. It's phase one. See, that's what I was fucking scared of, man. This boss, dude, is insane. This is crazy. A poison, I think, is enough to take him into phase two. I just want to get him out of those logs, because he's going to keep trying to roll and get caught on them, and I could just get killed, so. Okay, if phase two... I have to be really careful if phase two starts right now, man. It shouldn't. I actually... I, I need to get those fireballs away. Oh my god. Of course. Of course he gets stuck on a root as well. Do not fireball. Frostbite, there we go. Wonder if two's enough. I don't want to go too crazy. Okay, well that didn't really work out so well. I was kind of hoping we'd bait out another attack. Just the problem is my rot grease. No. Like, we can do this phase without rot, but the longer it drags on, the more potential for fire breath. So, I should be able to res in here.
Oh, okay, we got him. That's why the pots are so nice, because you basically skip having to do all that part. You're such a fucker, dude. Third time's a charm, I guess. Yeah, the problem with that is, like, now we're just so depleted, dude. We're very depleted on our uh, rot resources, man. What a fight to get us back into it, dude, huh? It's It feels really bad to have to bone out of that fight, man. Phase one is just brutal to go through. All right, so we're going to have to go to Academy. Like, I, I, I could easily see him winning that, dude. We literally just spent 50 minutes on Fire Giant, dude. <laughs> 50 minutes of Fire Giant here on this run. Well, at least we're consistent at him, I guess, right? I'm gonna go get these uh, these rot things now. Um, fastest, easiest way to get rot super early? Well, like, if you just mean rot greases, there's, uh... There's Rock Reese's and Caleb. Like, I pick up three on this run that are in the other Rot Pool. Like, the one on the west part. But yeah, you can also, like, the th thing that's really good about Ansper is you can also put buffs on it, right? So you could put a Rock Reese on top of it and then get even more Rot. So, we need five of these. Four of those. Our Sleep. We got those. We got the Fan Daggers. How many of these do I want? Probably at least two. That leaves us with... Yo, that is not enough. Oh, God. That is not enough for the rest of this run, you guys. I'm sure that there's more I can get, but I'm kind of running out on the ones that I know of <laughs> that are safe to get. I think we're okay. No way. That, uh, that just doesn't make sense, you guys. Oh, boy. Imagine this run dying just simply because we don't have enough rot. I, I just don't know how that couldn't have procced. <laughs> oh, my God. If, if this fails again, like, I, I don't know. God, this run is cursed. And it didn't go on a on noble there somehow. No way. Yeah, I mean this I don't understand you guys. Does anybody know of any more that I can get? <laughs> because I thought last run was bad enough. Like if you guys remember last time I had to go like scour for more uh Aeonian butterflies as well, but Oh, oh, wait, the the merchant uh okay. Okay, the merchant and Caleb. I actually I remember we yeah, we tested them out earlier in the run. 
Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea how Noble didn't rot on the first one. Like, maybe Noble started to walk away or something like that. But yeah, like, maybe I'm in a bad position back here. Like, maybe I stood closer. Like, I, I have no idea, dude. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't make the extra poison. Oh, good. I guess I didn't throw a rot pot there and then realize. Certainly uh, some improvements to be made on this on this route before we move on to, like, all bosses especially, dude. Like, I just shoot, like, you guys see that square? I always aim at that square. Okay, good. But it just, I think the path that the, the godskins take isn't the same every time. That's what I think the problem is. I'm just not sure how I never saw this until, like, a few days ago. Well, we have four butterflies, which is not nearly enough, but... I mean, it actually is enough. If, if everything goes perfectly, then it's enough, but it just, things don't go perfectly on this run, so. <laughs> that's not enough bleed greases, man. It's okay. I, I've, I overlooked it because a lot of other stuff. But it, 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 like, we'll, we'll use one on the Noble, one on the Apostle. It should be okay. But yeah, this this is the fight where I got hit last run. This is a, this is a pretty tricky fight, dude.
Um, how do I do this normally? Yeah, this is where, like, I'm kind of short of bleed grease, so... Hmm. Yeah, we sort of missed out on a bleed there. I wonder if it's, I, I should try to poison him instead. Okay, so yeah, a, a few things got messed up because I didn't have the bleed grease there, but yeah, I just I just wanted to move him back there to fight him so that I didn't have to deal with the bad terrain. That was not an ideal fight, that's for sure, dude. It's not really a crazy skip. Like the reason why it's it's safe to do on these runs, I feel like, is you can just fast travel out if you fall, right? So, so funny how this run, like it, you know, it starts out. I, I won't say it starts out easy, but it starts out hard, and then it gets really hard <laughs> by by these points in. ideal oh my god dude
I mean... This is the most cursed run of all time, dude. I I don't know what it is, man. Like I I I'm very surprised I didn't get a my my roll eaten there on that on that dodge. Like I think it, it, my roll my first roll actually did get eaten, but then I recognized the leg spike and then I rolled again. Is what happened. So clearly something out there does not want me to get this run right now. I don't know. Can't stop now, dude. Although I'm sure if, D if DS2 released as they intended it to, I'm sure it would have had all the same problems as these other ones. With all like the lighting and stuff that they wanted. So, kind of like sacrificed looking good for performance, which I'm fine with to be honest. This is by far the most cursed run we've done of this so far, dude. Almost everything that could go wrong has gone wrong without actually getting hit. You know, I think last fight, I buffed with Bleed Grease on his slam. Like, is that, that actually safe? Like, surely it is, right? I was not paying attention for a second there, dude.
This is not good. Nice. Nice. I'm going to go get this uh, butterfly down here. But yeah, time for legitimately just the hardest boss on this run by maybe not a long shot, but by enough. Should only need one. Take this off. It should allow me to mid roll when I swap to the spear or light roll, I mean.
dude.
There we go. No problem. Nice, dude. That was that was pretty clean. That was a really nice Radagon fight this time. Last time was not so good. That was nice and a good, like, pretty good Elden Beast RNG as well. Like, no wave of gold, no flying needles. All right, master run, any percent completed. Even though the game tried so hard to, the game tried so hard to make that not happen right there. Uh, we still did it. Nice, dude. So I guess, um, I guess we're going to move on to all great runes next, probably. I'm pretty sure the first part of the run had snow in the background as well. So it seems like a large amount of time has passed since that, but it's been like two days. But nice, dude. Yeah, usually it's tough, I think, to take like a two-day break when you're, when you're mid-run and to come back immediately into Fire Giant and all the tough bosses. But yeah, that was nice, man. That was, that was pretty clean. Like, except for all the, you know, the leg spikes on Malketh and the Fire Giant bone out and bone outs and stuff. Yeah, this is world's first as well, I believe. So we're level one, no st no artificial level boosting. So no like Radagon Source Seal, no Godric Great Rune, stuff like that. No upgrading any weapons or using any upgraded weapons. So all plus zero. And we're on NG plus seven and fresh start, meaning that we basically start the run on a fresh character rather than acquiring gears from previous NG cycles and stuff. And yeah, there it is, dude. That was pretty good. Yeah, so what we're going to do next, we're going to start doing all great runes. And yeah, dude, it's fun. It's fun getting locked in like that again, man. It's been a while. Like when I did the God Run 3, there's no there's no fights that I really just am laser focused on. I actually made one mistake on Radagon, though. I'm sure you guys saw my reaction to it. Like I, I rolled, I could have gotten killed. So I got a, like I definitely got a bit lucky. But see, this is what when people are like saying they're upset I didn't have cam on the God Run 3. This is what I looked like the entire last like three hours. That is what I looked like the entirety of the last like four hours of God Run 3. I just sit there looking at the screen, 